So today's been pretty fun because I got to work on Jib. Oh, oh, I love Jib. Made him have a little bit of velocity when he stops moving. Makes him a little bit more natural, floaty, fly robot e skybot type thing. Um, so he slows down, and he also has this funny little quirk, which I love. Sometimes when he's slowing down, he does he did it right there. He'll run in front of you. So all that is, it's a pretty simple thing. It's like every time he comes to a stop, he adds a little bit of velocity, so he floats ahead. And sometimes, randomly, he'll choose to just float ahead really fast. And then he looks at you, and it's just kind of funny. Um, so another thing is I got the rotation working for him, so he actually rotates correctly and faces the player. So you can see his little eye is facing me the whole time. Wherever I move, he's looking at me. Um, that makes him just way more more of a character, more of a lifelike character, making him more much more jib like. Um, and another huge thing is that um, I really improved the rendering for him because I added a separate a, a special system for floating entities in this voxel world. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in. Actually, you can see a little bit. I wonder if I can turn off this. Oh, uh, no, it'd be way too hard for me to show this, to go recompile everything and grab old assets and all that. Um, but anyways. Okay, how he's floating right now, you can see he's floating pixel perfect. Before, what was happening is I was making him float with actual voxel 3D positions. So his floating would happen by modifying his Z position in 3D. And that would have to get projected and added in the position and a bunch of other things. And so his his projected his his actual position on screen got really weird looking because his actual um, rendering on screen got squashed basically as he was facing um, south, but at a certain position he would look like you know some of his voxels would get all squashed and stuff. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, but anyways, it was just a really like, it was just a horrible look because it was it was not very um not very clean at all. So this is just a custom rendering system um, that draws him, it basically modifies his 2D position using a sine wave, and that's all there is to it. It just uses a it basically just offsets his 2D position. So um, instead of trying to modify his three-dimensional Z position, it's really just off offsetting his two-dimensional Y position right there. And it works at whatever you know rotation because all you're doing is mod modifying the two-dimensional Y position. And um, so that, uh, that kind of enables pixel-perfect rendering for the old jib, which, uh, which is super great because before he looked a lot, he looked horrible. Um, and there's still a lot of things I've got left in my mind. I've actually got some ideas on how I can actually render all voxel models a little bit more pixel perfect. And so I'll be working on that uh, in the near term future. Um, let's look at some of that code though. This is not, not really that complex, um, but basically I just added a new type of data for um, the render component, which is just the float period and the float height. So this is uh, Jib's float period and float height. He floats over about one second, and he floats up and down about, or up about two pixels. So uh, it's really, really simple code too. Um, in the render system, actually, let's just do uh, float period. Here's where it updates. So in the main tick of each 3D entity, it goes ahead and updates its float elapsed over its float period and resets once it hits the float period. So that just gives you a float elapsed variable. You load the float period via data, you load the float height via data, and the float height is applied in set pause. There was a lot of tricks I had to pull today, actually a lot of bugs that kind of like work out to get this to work correctly. Um, but the point was that all this is doing is basically just, you're, you're setting the three dimensional pause for, an, for a render component, you're projecting out the 2D two-dimensional pause, and then it actually goes back to the pause 2D and adds in a little bit more depending on if you have this float period. Um, and it's really just uh, the Y position, like I was saying earlier, is just the sine wave 
and adding a little bit to the what the 2d two-dimensional y position so that enables pixel perfect floating for all types of entities any entity i want could have this and let's actually uh go take a look at the suits the suits have the same type of thing these suits of armor are supposed to be sitting there floating and uh, they also now have this pixel perfect rendering and they're also all offset a little bit their their actual elapsed is offset the second the render component is created so that you have a staggered look right here instead of them all floating exactly the same so um, yeah, lots of improvements to, to jib and, uh, yeah, totally worthwhile because it makes, gosh, it makes the game a lot more fun when you've got a, a little friend that is acting really lifelike and has a lot of character. So one step at a time. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.